Tasty Food Diva. We're at John's Fresh Marketplace in Torrance, California. It just opened um, not too long ago. We're going to take a tour of the store and then you're going to watch me shop for some groceries for a recipe I'm going to make. A lot of grab and go. We also find that, especially in this store, our customers really love the fact that they can just pick up their salads and go. And uh, it's very customer service orientated, and we have had great feedback on our service done as far as our variety. This is the Sangak bread that we actually bake in our store in Van Nuys and deliver every day. It's a, it's a separate little grill that we have in there, and this is baked every day um, and sent out to the stores. These German breads, and it's, it's so funny, you'll get a customer walk up and like, have this bread. And then this. Yes, and that is that, a big item. Yeah. The last time I saw that was in Amsterdam. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Gourmet of cheeses to smoked pork bellies to different sausages. And, uh, Since you are drying foods in your Russian chocolate? These are Russian chocolate too, right? Yes. Ah. We're a full service wide-ranging supermarket. We have everything that you can find in the supermarket as well. These are just our points of difference, things that make us a little bit different than your conventional uh, large chain supermarket. Same olives that we have in the case, but if you don't want to wait you know, for a service, you can just pick it up. All the different hummus, salad, right here. We just have our chicken. So we have some, we could do some kebabs, we do some different marinades uh, throughout. Uh, one, one that's been a very uh, favorite for the customers has been a yakiniki sauce. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, we also have a black pepper. Um, this has been a big hit. These are uh, individual blocks that we're selling by the beach. That's been a very good uh, item. We had a small uh, a run of can of salmon that we were able to uh, get for a couple small couple weeks. Try to just try to keep a good variety. We don't put too we don't put too much out at a time, so we keep the freshness and the, and the quality. So they don't really look great, in, you know, on the service counter. Right. Um, we also something we just got in. We have an Argentinian red shrimp, oh, the wild cut. Okay. We do carry a little bit of uh, frozen imported lamb. Uh, we have some ducks. Just you know, just a nice little variety of stuff. We have a specialty, you know, we have a specialty Polish, specialty Polish butter that we just, we just got in. These uh, aisle invaders, we call them, that, that uh, set off the different sections of the store. We have naturally good, natural organic, this is a bar section, and uh, imported specialty. We have like a section for imported breads, cookies, specialty cookies. We've integrated everything for, for ease of shopping, but we've, we've told the customer this is where it is, based on where the, where the sign work is. Like if you're coming in to buy jams and jellies, if you want to buy peanut butter or you want to buy jelly, you're also going to see the international selection of jellies we have also. It's not going to be in its own aisle. Um, I so like you'll, that. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good way to do it. But some of the stuff that's in here, um, I think it's it's a good alternative to what you know the everyday stuff that you're going to buy. You might look at it and say, "Wow, pig preserves." There's or, great value and great quality here that people don't know about. And this some of this uh, imported stuff, and then that's our number one line of spices there, uh, because we have the unusual stuff, and also because it's great value. There's a category here that. Uh, that is just huge for us. This is uh, imported uh, juices and nectars. Uh, you won't you won't see this stuff except in specialty stores. Uh, this is where we get into some of the more uh, uh, esoteric imported stuff. Uh, paste, pepper paste. Those are grape leaves. Oh, okay. And stuff. And this this section that uh, has uh, kombucha and healthy drinks uh, that are that are very popular today and it's doing really well for us fruit from around the corner to around the globe because these are uh torrents right torrents breweries so more local 
got San Diego stones. Yeah, San Diego. Oh, Alice Point, San Hawaii. Diego. It's an interactive. So, like, if you're coming in here and you don't really know much about any of the wines you're going to get, yeah, let's just take one of them. Oops. But what it'll do is it'll tell you about the wine and, in most cases, tell you what it's good with. Here is a classic example of a Malbec from the Mendoza region of Argentina. This is a big, robust red with lots of dark berry, black cherry, and cassis fruit aromas. The flavors mirror the bouquet along with notes of blueberry, pepper slice, and plum. Classic grilled meats are called for, but a shish kebab loaded with onions, peppers, and assorted meats would fit the bill perfectly. And that's developing also. They, they continue to add software to that, so hopefully we'll be able to have, you'll be able to separate it by pairing. But you can, you can search for cocktails. Like if you if you have heard of a cocktail called uh, martini or whatever, you know, you can click on there and it'll tell you how to make it. And you can actually just text the recipe right to your phone. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> so it's an actual circle. Hello. More chicken. We have our tri-tip. We have our barbecue tri-tip and our brisket. Okay. okay. And then this is our um, macaroni and cheese. We put real sharp cheddar cheese with paprika. And then these are our barbecue beans. And the same, we enhance the... That's our tuxedo cake. Okay. That's real cream, real vanilla cream, and real uh, chocolate mousse. Um, over here we have tiramisu, um, and then we have our strawberry shortcake. That's our fudge brownie with walnuts, and that's our beze, which is a meringue cookie um, with caramel and um, walnuts inside. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Enjoy.
beanie backs are very tender. Um, probably wouldn't have so much sauce on it. I'd probably go less on the sauce and let the pork kind of come through. So let's try the St. Louis. on the St. Louis is actually better than the baby bats. Because of the different cuts, you get more, more um, savory, more porky than the baby bats. And it's also actually a little bit more juicier too. So we'll go on with the spare ribs, or the short ribs.